Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install Apache OpenOffice on your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system. OpenOffice is an open source office suite which can be seen as an alternative for Microsoft Office and the most good thing about it is it's totally free and uh, you can uh, you know literally open uh, word files presentation files excel files using this open office and uh, if you don't want to pay uh, you know expensive uh, license fees for uh, microsoft office this can be uh, the alternative choice for you which is totally free so let's see how we can install it open your favorite browser and search for open office and the first link here will be from www.openoffice.org just open this link and here you can uh, see what are the features which are available with this uh, open office you can see the prog pr product list uh, which is writer which is alternative for microsoft word calc which can be seen as an alternative for uh, excel impress which can be seen as an alternative for presentation and other tools right so what we are going to do is we are going to click this uh, download button and here you can choose your operating system mine is windows so i will choose this and the language in which you want to uh, download this and the version the latest version at the time of making this video is 4.1.1 so i will use this and then i will just click download full installer and this will lead us to a source forge website where it is hosted and then you will be able to see this download link you just uh, need to save this executable file and then wait for the you know uh, wait for uh, it to save so i will save it somewhere on my pc and it's about uh, 134 mb file so it can take some time to download in my case it will take around one minute 40 seconds but it depends upon your uh, internet speed so now my download is complete and here I can see the executable file for open office. You can double click this file or you can right click and run it as administrator and click yes. And now the installation wizard will start and what I'm going to do is I will click next in this wizard and in here so now it shows the default location where uh, this open office will be uh, you know uh, installed i will uh, not change the lead default location i will just uh, unpack it so click unpack and it will unpack your uh, files now the installation wizard will start so just click next and this is the name of the user you can even give the name of your organization it's optional so I'm not going to give any and I will click next and I will choose typical click next and uh, if you want to create a shortcut on desktop then you can keep check this uh, option I will keep it checked and click install And now the installation of OpenOffice is finished. So just click finished and it's finished. 
Now you can uh, open this open office by clicking this desktop icon or uh, by searching on your search toolbar and it opens for the first time it will show this welcome message click next and you can uh, give your uh, username last name initial but I don't want to give so I will click finish and now you can see uh, open office suit now in here there is a text document which can be seen as a, an alternative for Microsoft Word spreadsheet as I have told you can be seen as Excel database presentation so for example I open this uh, text uh, doc document and it will open uh, this word like uh, you know interface and in here you can just uh, write uh, your document and you can save them as a ODT file so the thing is it saves these word files as ODT files so if you plan to you know uh, give uh, these files to your friends uh, or other colleagues uh, what you can do is you can uh, go to file and save it as so when you go to save it as it will be by default save as uh, ODF or ODT which is open office uh, document format right so make sure if you want to uh, distribute this file yeah, the best option will be uh, you know save them as Microsoft Word file okay so you will be able to see these options Microsoft Word 97 2000 or other options so save them as uh, Word files so that uh, you know if other uh, colleagues or other friends have uh, the Microsoft Office these files can be uh, you know opened by Microsoft Office also and this uh, you know office uh, writer can open uh, document files which are made in uh, Microsoft Office presentation files which are made in uh, Microsoft uh, you know PowerPoint or Excel files also so you know you can uh, use it for free and it's a good alternative for Microsoft Office I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye